वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द सेशन नाउ लेट्स बिगिन विद दिस डू शेयर द लिंक इन द ग्रुप So we'll start now from this particular part on the capital gains. This is our second lecture on capital gains. In fact, this uh, in all, out and out, this is a thirteenth lecture class. But nevertheless, Aditya, good evening, Priya, Nishant, good evening to all of you. So, <clears throat> in that particular case, students here, this happens to be the second particular lecture on the capital gains front. In all, there's some issue which is happening, students here. <clears throat> okay, so in this context, students, so today's session, what we are going to do would be the second part. Hopefully, you would have all gone through uh, what we have discussed in the yesterday's class, all the section which I have made a note of it for all of your reference. All of you would have also gone through it carefully. Now, if that has been done, now we shall now proceed on our second particular part <clears throat> today. So, therefore, students will do the exemption. So, CEG students, I'll just quickly will run through and will let you know couple of quick points herein in the head capital gains. So, I'll be using students today your. IPCC module for question and answer format. Apart from our charts, I'll be using the IPCC module for question and answer format. <coughs> so, students, in the head capital gains, their revision part would be the way you have to take it forward. First, as you all know, it is all about the charge injection. Which you have discussed yesterday. Couple of more charging sections, students. They have given it to you, like for company and all. I think, but the company part is majorly for final CA. Although they have given it also for IPCC as well, like 46.1 and 46.2. If you want, I will just go through it for all of you. So the sections which we have discussed, charging section. Apart from this 45.1, we have also touched upon this two definition of capital asset. And the definition of transfer, but the selected reading only is required. Thereafter, one forty forty-five one is that uh, insurance compensation money received on the destruction of the asset. Thereafter, this forty-five two conversion of the capital asset into stock and trade. So that is forty-five two. Thereafter, this forty-five three and forty-five four. Hopefully, you would have gone through this in respect of the transfer made by the partner, the transfer of a capital asset made by the partner in the partnership firm. So this was from partner to partnership firm. That the transfer is taking place, and thereafter 45.4, which is that reverse. Reverse means the transfer has taken place from partnership firm to the partner. This is the reverse order in which the things has happened. And 45.5 students, if you <coughs> have gone through this one, so this is about the compulsory acquisition by law. Compulsory acquisition by law is what also we have discussed. Now this is about the liquidation part, students. The liquidation. Of the company, we'll discuss. If you want, I can discuss with all of you this particular point as well. But just four parts of your revision on the day of the examination, you have to be structurally be very very clear. You have to be structurally be very very clear on this part. Good evening, Chandana, Nishank, Trinath, Gopal. <coughs> If you have copied, then I'll just take the slide up. Done with this.
fine. So now this was the first part of your revision students. Based on our inputs in our yesterday's class, the input which I have already have set you up in your yesterday's class, please follow them religiously. The second particular part students that you will also look into it would be about the section 47. Section 47 which is about the transaction not considered as a taxable transfer. Now we will make the list also what are the things that we have discussed. So transaction not considered as a taxable transfer. Okay. The third one students you should be doing is about the exemption 54 series. The fourth one exemption is for what? 54 series. The fourth one students is about the tax rates because we all know there are some special tax rates which are there under the head capital gains and these are the special tax rate students which are there so far as the head capital gain is concerned. And the last one, students, you will say, for number 5, to be a miscellaneous part. You will say, sir, what is there in the miscellaneous part? So, in the miscellaneous part, like, there is provision of scum sale. Easiest provision. If it comes, it becomes a lottery for your examination. Like, the advance money forfeited. Advance money forfeited. <coughs> Okay, thereafter, thereafter what? The next particular point, students, is about the competition of depreciable asset. Competition of depreciable asset. <coughs> as such, we all know, but there are one issue which you should always keep in mind, so far as this particular competition of depreciable asset is concerned. JDA <laughs> primary that it's 45 5A. I can say that for 45 5A, you can just skip in final CA, you can just do them in detail. Even this liquidation part uh, is something as a final CA area of the syllables. But I'm just in the two minds because ICI has given in your chart quite elaborately so that's the reason why I'm just in the two months minds of doing this liquidation of the company okay have you have done this liquidation of company or the assurance problem students see 